What's up everyone, Tactical Turtleneck here, and we are once again back to detail how absolutely useless our government really is. They suck. And how little they give a fuck about us. So if you haven't watched it already, watch my first video, I'll put it in the description, about how FEMA is useless. If you did that, good job. Now let's continue with this one. Since the last video, the death toll of Helene is well over 200, with hundreds more missing. FEMA has been MIA, they're on vacation or something. Meanwhile, families are sitting on rooftops waiting for help that is not coming. You've got people out here who have lost everything, and FEMA's over there, thumb firmly shoved up their ass, probably working on their next press release about how we're doing all that we can. Yeah, you're not doing fucking shit. Biden and Kamala's response is basically, thoughts and prayers, here's $750. Yeah, that's really gonna help when your entire house is, you know, fucking gone. You'd think that we're asking for a miracle when all we need is some basic fucking disaster relief, but Kamala's too busy caring about the people of Lebanon to give a fuck about any of us. So sorry your family died and you have no food, but you see, there's a retard in the Middle East that needs another billion dollars. God, I fucking hate these people. And let's not pretend it's just the Democrats that are doing this shit. Enter Lindsey fucking Graham. You can yeah, thank Donald yeah, Trump Elon and Elon Musk, Elon Musk for that. You, but look, uh, you know, I, I've been going all over South Carolina like most people hadn't slept much. But look what's going on in Israel. Our friends in Israel are surrounded by people that want to kill them, destroy them, a second holocaust in the making. And Biden says be proportional. What is the proportional response to people who want to kill you and oh your family? God. They're running out of ammunition in Israel. We have to help our friends to keep the war over there from coming here. Lindsey Graham, the man who loves war like a fat kid loves cake. This guy's got such a hard on for military spending, you'd think that Lockheed Martin sends him fucking love letters and probably nudes. Then again, the guy's got the sex appeal of Whoopi Goldberg in a hazmat suit, but the financial instincts of somebody who bought 12 houses in 2008 with a subprime mortgage and a fucking smile. Holy shit, dude! Honestly, the only thing that Lindsay's blowing faster than US dollars on foreign aid is, well, nothing, because if it isn't foreign countries, it's not fucking happening with Lindsay. And speaking of bending over, he's got the political flexibility of a used Stretch Armstrong. Lindsay's idea of loyalty is whoever's got the deepest pockets. His spine's got more wiggle than a weekday stripper at closing time, except way less fucking attractive. He'll sell out his principles faster than you can say defense budget, all while blowing your tax dollars on his never-ending international sugar daddy tour. The only thing Lindsay loves more than a good war is a check with enough zeros to fucking fund it. Oh, God damn it. Lindsey Graham, the piece of shit who's ready to throw billions at Israel while people in his own country are literally drowning after Hurricane Helene. Oh, your house is underwater? You're clinging to a tree for dear life? Sorry about your dying relatives, but I've got some overseas dick to suck. God, I fucking hate this piece of shit. Sorry, I, I had the rant for a minute. So yeah, there's your update. FEMA's still useless, Biden is still retarded, and Kamala is still ready to blow any foreign leader. And of course, Lindsey Graham is still a useless cum sock that should have been thrown into a dumpster outside of a Planned Parenthood long ago. I'm gonna go have a drink. I'm legitimately angry.